Welcome to IWE Battlezone TV. As we are being joined here by the Rudneck Dynasty. Rick Green in the building. Welcome to another episode of episode, uh, Battlezone TV. I'm Scrappy with Axel Gear here. We're kind of switching it up a little bit, but we're having fun. We're back. I hope you enjoyed the last episode. We're starting this one off with uh, Rick, Rick Green. Green. So Rick let's Green just get it. Let's just get it in. Got some young future stars, some uh, some wrestlers here from a well, obviously young wrestlers that he was working with here, and uh, got them in the ring. Well, That's absolutely awesome. Look at this. You may be looking at the future here. And I'd also like to say great job to the coaches that worked hard all season with these kids. Because they put in a lot of work. We also had six kids out of our camp go into nationals. The potential future stars right here. Congratulations to them. Well, about any one of them could put me down on my face. Yeah, yeah. Some of them are like, some of those kids are pretty big, man. Lethal Laura Lee here with late breaking news. IWE returns to Houghton Lake on Saturday, June 24, for our nine year anniversary extravaganza. Come celebrate nine years of Imperial Wrestling Entertainment with your favorite and least favorite gladiators. Come cheer the good guys, boo the bad guys, and be part of the fun. It happens at the Artesia Youth Park in Houghton Lake. Tickets are $10 at the door with kids 10 and under free. You get four shows for the price of one. Doors open at 5.30 and the show starts at 6. For more information, make sure to visit iwegladiators.com. So, let's get back to action. Right now, I say, brothers by faith, family by destiny, country strong, we are the Roughneck Dynasty. somebody we've had a problem with in the past and I want to take care of it tonight. 24 Kick! Get out here! Calling out the kid! Here comes the kid. Looking like he may have just wandered out here inadvertently.
on a phone with potentially some investors or a business partner or making money baby making that money how do you run around with that kind of bling if you ain't be making money man you always got to be making moves he's on the phone making moves bro he needs to be making a few moves in the championship ring there ask him for all right now listen 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 i don't know why this redneck doesn't think i'm dealing with 24 care money right now i have more important things to do than step in the ring with you see i'm trying to tell you he'd be making money moves See, he's making moves. He'd be making money, man. I, I get it. I get where he's coming from, man. You can't look like that. You can't bling out like that. You can't do none of that stuff. If you weren't, uh, you ain't making moves, baby. I get that time is money, but there's a reason why he's in this business to begin with. So if he's focus more on making investments or he's working on investing in himself in his wrestling career well I'm sure he has that's why he's here in IWE baby is he off the phone yet it, it, as you can tell uh, the, the look on Joe's face is priceless at the moment we have no ref. Where's our ref? Can I get a ref? Here comes a ref for me. Oh. <laughs> Even Big Buford knows not to deal squat when it comes to having Dan Tanner referee your match. There you go, Joe. Do something with yourself. Help the man out. Get that blingy bling off him. No, you haven't touched that if much. If there's gold. anything that 24 Karat Kid has just explained to us all, it's that he doesn't want or need help. No, he doesn't have time. He was saying, I, I don't have time for this. Uh, time is money. And he's out here making moves. The following moves. contest is scheduled for. And the crowd is fired up already. Wow. I'm telling you, you bring a phone into a wrestling ring, you're asking for it to be cracked. Your referee is Dan Tanner, I guess. And Nick, uh, Rick Green oh, well, that's not right. nicked the phone right out of 24 Karat Kid's hand. That's his property, man. And he, he makes money off of that thing. You can't be taking that. He's got some other business to attend to right now. And what does he get? Hey, what a purple nerf happening. Match is underway. Big Buford now. Oh. Laying in a 24 Karat Kid. This is the wrestling business, son. Oh, oh and move across man. the ring into the corner, and Buford comes in big, heavy yes. clothesline. And Buford was just bringing the meat, and you could hear the whole cage, Incoming. the whole ring move when he threw him in the corner there, and then goodness. follows up with that cannonball. My goodness! Now into a pin cover, and Dan Tanner comes down for the pin. That's a one, and that's all. Wow. Big Buford. Impressive is start have for Buford. A long road ahead of him if he's going to convince Dan Tanner to count the pin. Oh, no. 24 Kara Kid counters out of the scoop slam. Smart. Takes him out of the knee with a chop block. It just keeps working that knee. Smart, smart, smart. Drives man. The, the leg and the knee right into the mat. I mean, if he can't stand, he can't fight. Like a DDT on the ankle. And they're wrapping their shirt around the neck. That is not legal. Rick Green trying to make that abundantly clear. Dan Tanner apparently looking for the problem. That was a nasty knee. That it was, and now Big Buford has some trouble on his hands. 24 Karat Kid. Driving his foot. Putting it to him. Into the larynx and the throat of Big Buford. He cut that wind and make him think about it. It's it's all kinds of dirty grime going on when you're doing stuff like yeah. that. You can't breathe, you can't fight. Yep. 24 Karat Kid keeping his eye on the back of his head on Rick Green out there. He has to, yeah. I the... don't think he has to worry too much about Rick Green. Big Buford can handle this on his own if he didn't have Dan Tanner refereeing the match. Rick Green already took his phone. He's already got getting involved. He's got to definitely keep his head on a swivel. 
Bill hadn't run for the match at that point. We're trying to get him ready for the match. Oh, jeez. That is that's, snapping the suspenders well, on Big View from That's back. what you get for wearing them things to the ring, man. I mean, it's fair game as far as I'm concerned. Arm wrench. Oh, jeez. Countered out of it. Big strikes to the midsection in the chest. Oh, no. Oh, the bridge. Top. And Big Buford dumps to the outside. Uh-oh. And he's not safe out there. I, I don't know if you guys have watched the 24 karat kid, but he ain't safe out there. Lines up. Incoming. Oh. Stops uh, himself short just to slap him across the face. Been a lot more impressive, 24 karat kid, if you seem to have cared about the match in the first place. Well, I'll tell you. You don't want to upset Big oh, Buford, that's for Buford. sure. Oh, a little do -si do right into the pole. They locked elbows, and 24 Karat Kid lost his momentum. Big Buford carried him right into the post. You're absolutely right. Kid rolled back into the ring, and Big Buford looking to hear some crowd noise. See, that's Buford's problem. He's worried about these fans and them getting behind him. He needs to worry about the man in the ring. These fans can't do nothing something for him. Something said for that there. But Buford now... Back into the ring and in control of the kid. Oh man, what the heck? Hey, hey, hey! Shoving both thumbs right into the eyes. And you cannot tell me that Dan Tanner didn't see that. Well, I can tell you Buford didn't see it. He sure felt it. And now the kid back in control. Sizing him up. Ooh. Warning straight foot strike. I mean, right into the side of the face. Yeah, straight kick right to the face. I mean. And, of course, up top again, up hot. Did it again, playing mind games. Thought he was coming up off the top row. I know he knew in a very, a, very uh, over-generously lazy, la lackadaisic is the word I want Lays for that. Okay, we're going to work on English today. Lass lackadaisical, that's the word of the day for you. Sure. And it's, 20, I am dumbfounded by how arrogant 24 Karat Kid is being about this. Man. It's confident. It's confidence, man. He's walking around with all the confidence a, in the world, and why not? Look what he's doing to this guy. Because there is a line between confidence and cockiness. And, and you got to ride that line as close as you can. And, and 24 Karat Kid's doing it. I don't think he is. Look and at I, a man significantly bigger than him is on his back. He's handling that's business. That's why you need to not take the guy... You know, lazily. You need to take him seriously. The repeated elbow strikes, that's a better move. All right, I'll give him that one. But he's given Buford all the time in the world he needs to recover. Proof positive right there. Buford back to his feet. Clothesline takes down the kick. Back up again. And a second one. Buford with that power, man. And come in. Ducks the line, though, does the kick and blatant. Kick to the to the undercarriage, and Dan Tanner clearly doesn't care. Oh! oh puts him down. That boot to the face. That's it. That's it. It's over. Into the pin. There may not be anything left of. of uh, hey, that is there it. There may have been something left of Big Buford, except the 24 Karat Kid put his feet up on the, the ropes. winner of this match, the 24 Karat Kid. What? What, what can you say? Victorious. The whole reason that the Redneck Dynasty even had, the Roughneck Dynasty had problems with 24 Karat Kid in the first place was because of stuff like this. This is not solving his problems. This is running from them. 24 Karat Kid still now, sure. And now scurries to the back as Big Buford Man is a dog. Give him chase. It, understandable, but that's what happens when you lose. You get mad. But we've got, you guys don't lose. Everybody wins because we've got one heck of a main event for you here. That we absolutely do. Some say champions are born, but we believe champions are forged in the fire of competition. Need a championship for in the ring or out. 
J-Dub Bells makes custom handmade championships for all occasions. Our customer friendly belt levels allow J-Dub Bells to provide quality products for any budget. For more information about us, our leather products, or to order your very own custom made championship belt, log on to www.jdubbelts.com This is the Creature Feature, John Campbell, and I'm getting ready to head into surgery, get my hip finally taken care of. It's been a long road. It's been a long road since October of 2022, but I will say this. Thank you for all of the well wishes. Thank you for all of your thoughts, all of your prayers, all of your messages. After this surgery, I'm going to hit physical therapy harder than I've ever done anything in my entire life. And I will be back. You haven't seen the last of the creature feature. Just getting prepped for surgery. Got my trusty IV in. Getting ready to finally get this all taken care of. Last time we saw Dave Weston, Rick Cartier saw to it that Dave Weston was not able to get the win over top of player one, Derek Crow. And now Dave Weston has an opportunity for some revenge. Well, let's send it to Joe, let's see what we got. Dave Weston, back and ready to go. Fresh off of a loss to Derek Crow in the last episode of Battlezone TV, all because of interference by Rick Cartier. Dave, how are you feeling? Last time we saw you, you were on the end of a savage clothesline from old school Rick Cartier. You know what? It was a rough clothesline for sure, but I'm feeling better now that I'm in IWE country. How you guys doing? And Rick, you want to come out here, you want to stick your nose in my business, well guess what man, I'm still here, I'm fighting, and you haven't kept me down yet. So if you really want to, I'm calling you out right now. Rick Cartier, game on. Dave Weston wants a fight. He doesn't want a match, he wants a fight. Against old school Rick Cartier. This may or may not prove to be a wise move on the little young man's heart. But I admire his heart. I sense a presence. Here he comes. The final loss fight. Old school, Rick Cartier.
Rick, we just heard tough words from your opponent, Dave Weston. And after your attack, I think he's ready to prove something. Do you think he's just a new kid with chip on his shoulder? It's not chip. It's just another new kid in this business, in this sport. Oh, he's only been in the sport long enough to have a sip of coffee. He's got an ego, and he runs his mouth. So here tonight in the IWE, class is in session. Rick Cartier, mincing no words, made it very clear what he's going to do to this young boy here. He plans to school him in his old school way. Well, I'll tell you, Weston is not going to be happy. He had to deal with, uh, you know, Cartier earlier, and he's just not going to be a happy man. So, like, that remains Cartier to be better seen. not take him lightly, I'm going to say that. But remains to be seen, Scrappy. The old school plus-size Terminator Rick Cartier is going to smash this guy if I had to make a choice, if I had to, if I had to guess. One could say that this is old school meeting the new school. Yeah, absolutely. And if there's one thing that history always shows is that the youth will outlive the old. Weston may have something he'll be able to accomplish here tonight. Ooh, look at that. Just look at him in the eye. Weston is not intimidated. Getting stared down by Rick Cartier. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for. Officiating this contest is Dr. Ryan. Introducing first, from Birmingham, Michigan, weighing in at 165 pounds, David Weston! Young David Weston has the fans behind him, the quite IWA the faithful. Yeah, quite the response for the, end, for the young man. And his opponent, hailing from the 605 studios in Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in today at 300 pounds of pure horse power! He is the plus-size Terminator, Old School Rick Cartier! Yeah! Yeah, Rick Cartier is not playing around. He is ready to go. Weston better be ready himself, man. Size differential is obvious. Here we go! And Wow, exploding out of the corner, David Weston taking it straight to the head of old school Rick Cartier. Yeah, you tell him, Cartier. Wow, it just throws the young man all the way across the ring, but he bounces right back to his feet. Strip kicks. Right back to old school, midsection. In the back, in the back of the head. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that is how you put an end to that nonsense. The same massive clothesline that ended the match last episode and put David Weston down for the three count against Derek Crow. He feels that again here tonight. But look at this, Dave Weston already scrambling back to his feet. He may be in a bad way, but he's in a better way than he was last time he took that hit. Well, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm watching this and uh, I, I beg to differ. Cartier is just chopping him down like a redwood. The open hand strikes to the chest. And now oh, tying yeah. him up in the ropes. Dr. Ryan, referee in this match, is not gonna is not gonna allow that to stand. Counting the count up to four to five. <laughs> Has to release before the count of five or risk disqualification. Cartier putting a, that weight down on his throat like that, man. That's just that's just nasty. That's what I love about Cartier. He's nasty. Dave Weston is not giving up. Continued strikes and a blatant rake of the eyes. Just got cut off, that's all. Just cut him off. Put referee him. Dr. Ryan admonishing old school Rick Cardi. Old oh, school just, just took off the referee's glasses. He kind of needs those to be able to see. And meanwhile. Does he need him to count though? And now meanwhile, he needs to be able to see if the shoulders are down or up. Rick Cartier taking advantage of the situation, shoving his boot right into the face of Dave Weston. Just grinding it in his eye hole. I Dave Weston it. continuing to fight. Not giving up. Continuing strikes midsection. On the side. Goes for the clothesline, but countered is it. Hit him. Snapdragon suplex. That half Nelson snapdragon, that is nasty. And two, and wow! Dan Weston still kicks out. I can't believe he kicked out. The kid is not done yet. Yeah, he's tough. He's tough. 
No doubt about it. Or he wouldn't be in this position. But Cartier is going to... Oh, that's, that's a tough man to deal with right there. That's a lot of hoss right there. She stiff headbutt. I mean... Weston rolling and writhing, but staying off of his back. That, 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 that slow, methodical pace. I, I mean, it, he's just stalking his prey, he's old school. He's dragging Weston around by the hair. How much is the referee going to let old school get away with in this match? Oh. Obviously, the referee doesn't want to call a disqualification oh. if he doesn't have to. He's got that ankle lock on there. He's wrenching that knee. Oh, now he's got them all stretched out. He's got that arm in. He's got that knee bent over. He's, he's, got, got, the, he's got a foot on the other leg, on the other ankle down here on the mat, holding it down. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Incoming old school. Ah. Set time splash. That just and Weston had nowhere to go. Classic Rick Cartier. Classic Rick Lazy Cartier. Lazy pin, though. Lazy pin, and Weston made sure he knew it. Got the shoulder up off the weak spot. Yeah, I mean, it's a little early in the match to be doing something like that, and with a guy that size, put your put your weight on that shoulder. I agree with you there on that one. The old school thinks that, that he's got this one. Oh, he, he thinks that Weston has no chance in this, but Weston still thinks he does. He's well in control, old school, well in control. He's not concerned at all. He's got this in hand, without a doubt. And if this is what I think it is, Weston is not going to have a good day. Think about coming in with that hip attack. But well, Weston rolls out of the way. Thanks. Strikes to the hip, into the midsection, into the back of the knee. Old school knocked down to one knee. Shot to the side of the old school's head. Those those educated feet by De by Weston just the got him. Got, got Cardi doesn't know where he's at. He's looking around trying to figure out where he's even at. The plus size Terminator being brought down to size. What oh, a spinning back fist. That was nasty. I don't think I've seen that from Cartier. Oh, Side suplex. That's Saito. That's Saito suplex right on his head. Still though. Still though. Weston rolls off of his back. He's up on his feet. Just He's in the for corner. what? Yeah. Yeah. For what? For what? What's going to happen to him? He's going to not get pinned is what's going to happen. Rolls oh. out of the corner. Nobody home for Rick Hardy. And Weston goes up to the top of the ropes. Double axe handle into the pin. One. Two, three! What? He called the three! What? Got the Ryan called the three! The winner of this match. called the three! Yeah. I can't believe it! Weston! Cody had got the shoulder up, but it was far I can't too late. believe it! It was a count too late! What? Steve Weston got the three! I can't believe it! Rick Cody! I can't believe it! How does this happen? A measure of revenge! Oh my and God. redemption for Dave Weston. Get it, kid. Oh my God. I can't believe what I see. Dave Weston pulls out the win in our main event here tonight. I can't believe what I just saw. On Battle Zone TV. Old school Rick Cody having to walk back to the back with his tail between his legs. As Dave Weston pulls out the win. I can't believe what we saw here today. That has got to be one of the biggest upsets we've seen here on Battlezone TV to date. Old, Old school, school Rick Cartier. I can't believe what I just saw. I don't know how I'm going to be able to handle all this. We got more episodes coming. There's more content. Next week is off the hook. Stay as tuned. We, as we got Roberto Cruz, Stuntman Mike, and a whole lot more. Holy crap. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining us here on Night of Music Battle Zone TV. We will see you next time right here for Scrappy IMAX Gear. Have a good night. The Laura Lee here with late breaking news. IWE returns to Houghton Lake on Saturday, June 24th for our nine year anniversary extravaganza. Come celebrate nine years of Imperial Wrestling Entertainment with your favorite and least favorite gladiators. Come cheer the good guys, boo the bad guys, and be part of the fun. It happens at the Artesia Youth Park in Houghton Lake. Tickets are $10 at the door with kids 10 and under free. You get four shows for the price of one. Doors open at 5.30 and the show starts at 6. For more information, make sure to visit iwegladiators.com.